YouTube. Boy, back again with another one, man. Uh, watching a whole bunch of videos. I always watch them MGTOW videos. You know, shout out to MGTOW and all those who celebrate Christmas. You know, happy, merry, whatever the hell. But I see a lot of videos where uh, people seem to have all the answers, but they don't. They don't put it like this humans are imperfect creatures so for someone to have an answer to everything seems basically impossible there's some subjects out there that people can have all the answers to but i feel like with relationships and MGTOW and the way society is going you'd be a fool to follow just one person's advice rather than searching as many videos and stuff as you can so with that being said as a guy who uh currently in a relationship uh it just it's hard for me to realize why I stay in one. I mean, granted, there's some people out there. You might find this girl. You might come across this guy who gives, who, who, who has everything that you're looking for. Has um, a job, car, works a job, a stable job. But to me, I feel like even having all that. And then find a female who can have all that and still contribute and uh, want to be a woman. That that's damn near impossible. I, I see that uh, a lot of older women past thirty realize that biological clock is ticking and they want to have children now. And when you see stuff like that, you realize that okay, well. Maybe the path we're going down is going to result in more women like that. So maybe we ain't going down the right path. But society ain't going to tell you that. Society's going to tell you, be a woman, uh, be a uh, corporate woman, get your job, get your career, go see places, go see the world. You don't have to settle down and be a family. But like I said before, men and women are designed to do specific things. And you're not doing those specific things. You feel like this is this void in you that you cannot feel. Most of the time with women, it's either a man or a child. Now, a lot of women at this point, or at a young point, realize that uh, they don't need a man or a child to feel accomplished. But as they get older, they realize, okay, I'm working this nine to five, making all this money, but it doesn't it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't feel like it means anything. That's because you're missing a man and a child. You, you, you focus on uh, becoming this corporate woman and uh, not how to become a woman. You focus on what society wants you to do and what society says is being successful as a woman in, uh, in the modern day era. That shit sucks, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, a lot of women say that shit sucks, man. They they don't want to live that, 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 uh, that corporate lifestyle. Where they uh just work, 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 no kids, no man, no nothing. You know what I'm saying? And then you find you find that you have these women who settle for a man who already has a girlfriend because they just want that that uh temporary effect of being in a relationship. And they don't want to commit full time. You have to be the woman you're designed to be, number one. And then number two, you can go out and end up your career, uh along with the man you can, you can do all that kind of stuff you see it can be a career woman it just your priorities have shifted from working to be number one to your family being number one there's absolutely nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with that at all but it's certain things that like that being a woman makes it seem like okay i'm not a woman if i don't do this i'm not a woman if i don't do that i'm, I'm a firm believer in you're not a woman until you get with a man. Other than that, you're just a girl. They, some of them, some people try to say that it's the same thing with a man. You're not a man until you get with a woman. But if you look at the furthest back uh, accounts we can get of man, male and female, if you want to use the Bible, God made Adam and Eve, but He made Adam, uh, Eve to be Adam's helpmate. Helpmate. He looked around and did not see a helpmate for Adam. So he made a helpmate for Adam. Helpmate for Adam. So even if, uh, as a woman, 
It's supposed to be a helpmate to a man. That's that's what you're designed to do. That's what the whole concept of being came came upon. That don't mean that you can't you can't add stuff to your repertoire, but the first thing and the most important thing you are is a woman and a helpmate to a man. So my thing is, or my, my advice is to guys who are in a relationship uh, and mig, who want to go, who, who the MGTOW philosophy resonates with them, i say to you, good luck, because it's hard, man. If you're in a relationship and you see that the woman you with is not being the woman that you feel like she needs to be, uh, she, she barely cooks, she barely cleans, she barely, she's not attentive. Uh, you don't have sex with her. That's check all those boxes. It's time for her to go. It was time for you to go. I don't see why having sex with a man and being your man's personal porn star is bad, unless you're doing it for the wrong guy. And that's most of the time what they do. They do it to the wrong guy, and then they 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 get mad at all guys because the one guy fucked them over because they gave them him his every, their everything. I do agree that that's how I'm going to raise my daughter, that you have to be more picky. You have to be more reserved than to what society is letting you know to be as a woman. You got slut walks, you got slut shaming, you got all this stuff that they say are uh, emotional detrimental, to, emotionally detrimental to a woman because it hurts her feelings. <laughs> it hurts her feelings. It hurts her emotions. But a woman, to me, needs to be called a slut if she's doing something slutty. She needs to be called a whore if she's out there whoring. So that way, you have re people who respect, who gain your respect again. No one has a respectful person or a female who, who considers herself a whore and sees nothing wrong with it. No one's gonna respect that. Society let you know, oh, it's a little shame she could do, she could do her. No, that's why you're gonna end up single. That's why you can be by yourself. Society says one thing, but you know. The, the, the nature of the universe says a whole completely different thing. So slow down with all that that uh, that horn and the sledding out there. So that's where I'm going to raise my daughter. But as a dude, I cannot get mad if I come across a woman who I, who I think is beautiful, intelligent, who uh, I feel like can hold her own, but uh, doesn't want to have sex with me right off the bat. I can't get mad at that because that's the kind of woman that we, we we need to be seeking. We need to be seeking women who hold out, but not the woman who, who asks for stuff while her legs is closed. You get what I'm saying? Like, you don't need a woman who uh, who's constantly saying she needs her bills paid, she needs stuff for her kids. And dating single moms, there's a whole other video that we're, I'm going uh, I'm to do later on. So stay tuned for that. And if you stayed this far in this video, man, go ahead and hit the like button. Uh, subscribe, share this video if it resonates with you or you know somebody who needs to hear this shit. Go ahead and share the video, man. Maybe we can reach them. Uh, but also, if you, I forgot my train of thought, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, uh, there's nothing wrong with a woman who, who is reserved like that, who doesn't want to have sex to a guy she just meets. And, and some guys, guys are thirsty. Guys are fucking thirsty as hell. They'll jump behind a booty pig or any other pit. I got a couple of uh, photos of me. Even even though I haven't been doing the MGTOW thing a long time, I have photos of me uh, sticking up for men a uh, long time ago on Facebook. It was this uh, open thinking group. And this open thinking group uh, is talking about women and men or something like that. It's been a while ago. I'm going to upload the pictures to this video. Uh, and the moment that I was, I started speaking the truth to these to these people in this group, I was automatically considered a woman basher, or I hated women, or I hate black women. And then you can see the dudes or the women, 50 years old, 55, no matter what, as long as they post a picture, as long as they post a picture of their body, dudes under there, man, man, I want to tag that, I love to do this, I love to do that. The dudes get super thirsty and they forget the whole message. So that's why I say females need to be more reserved so you can you can weed through these these nothing ass dudes, especially if you uh out there posting pictures of your body. You want everybody to fucking comment and tag and like and all that shit. You gonna get it. You gonna get a, a trash can full of nothing but nothing ass dudes. And if you, it might be a good dude in there. You might be a good dude in there, but I highly doubt if you post some pictures of your body and shit like that, a dude gonna be on there. A good dude gonna be on there trying to have a relationship with you. But 
that's why I say women need to be more reserved. For us guys, we need to be more reserved. Everybody thinks that the, the uh, baby comes from the woman, but it doesn't. Babies come come from men. Everything that you need to uh, to continue life comes from the man. They got these artificial wounds. They got all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that women are not important when it comes to the reproduction process. Reproductive process. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying the most ad, the most important aspect to that reproductive process is the male, whether his his semen is healthy, whether his his uh, all kinds of stuff, all kinds of stuff. But we think about a woman's reproductive system, system, a, bio, a biological clock uh, is ticking to a certain to a certain age, and then uh, they start dropping like flies, so she can't have a baby at all ages like men can. That's why you know species. If, if a man can have a baby at any age and a woman can't, you can tell which species is, is the most dominant one. But that's another story for another time. So you got these, you got these women who uh, who, who want to be career women. Uh, the eggs starting not to be uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, they don't have good eggs, but like that, the egg, the value, the quality of their eggs starts dropping off. Uh, their looks start to fade. They start to be more fragile. You know they need more help. Uh, that's just what nature does. It's not nothing that men <laughs> have put a spell on women to make them do that. That's just the way science does. Uh, but the whole concept, concept of this video, because I see it's getting a little long, and I got a lot of stuff to talk about, and I don't want to make an hour-long video, because I barely watch the 10-minute, 5-minute, 3-minute videos I make anyway. But the whole concept about this is, I feel like as a man in a relationship, MGTOW resonates with me because I hate the fact that so much so much bashing for men is going on and it seems to be uh, acceptable in society rather than saying anything negative about a woman when men are the most important part or aspect to society. This is just the way it is. Sometimes you just got to face the truth. But if you're in a relationship with a, with a female and you feel like she's not doing everything she needs to do and you have kids with her or you're married to her, it's hard to leave that relationship because... For one, finances. You work better as a group. Two incomes work better than one. Uh, kids. The kids used to seeing two people in one household, especially if you have newborns or young kids at home. They don't understand the concept of, of uh, one parent now, so that tends to make you want to stay in a relationship. But you can't deny your own happiness because of the happiness for the children. Like If you really want to be happy, if you want the kids to be happy, you put them in an environment where they choose to be happy. I mean, where they're, they're um, it's not where they choose to be happy, but if you're in an environment of happiness, the happiness rubs off, on, rubs off on the kids, I guess you could say. So basically what I'm saying is, you have to put them in an, in an environment where you can be successful, you can be, you can be happy, you can be yourself. Even if it's alone or for hope, uh, you find somebody else. I don't plan on finding nobody else if I become single because, for one, the way society is and the way dating is, it's, I, I got to weed through too much to try to find a decent woman. And a lot of these women are um, not into traditional uh, traditional living or tra traditional lifestyles. So, to me, it's, it's no point in me searching around because I know what I want and I know what I, I want a woman to do for me. And a lot of them ain't, out there, ain't willing to do that. So, uh I'm slow down on all that, but <clears throat> I just wanted if anybody who's if anybody is feeling the same way I'm feeling in a relationship or you're married and MGTOW resonates with you, go ahead, drop a comment in the video, man. Leave a like, share this video, subscribe. Let me know what you think about it, and we can get on this subject a little bit more, man. Like I said, I didn't want this video to run too long. Uh, <clears throat> I wanted to stay on the concept, but as you can see, I'm driving. And, Many thoughts come to my head when I'm driving. So none of my videos are scripted. I wish I wish I could fucking sit down and have time to, to script a video and, and go through the pictures and the video, uh, the clips, so y'all can see everything that I'm talking about. Give a broader picture of everything I mean, uh, of everything I mean. But that's gonna come. So for right now, uh, show your boy some love. Send these videos out to everybody you know, everybody who you feel like needs to listen to, or just just out there in general, man. Spread this knowledge. Mike A. Side enough.